Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from Star Foxboro, also SoFi Stadium. But who really cares about the Raiders and the Chargers while we're doing this introduction? For the first time since the 2019 NFL Wild Card Playoff, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. takes to the field in Gillette Stadium, but this time as a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Damn you! You traitors! Whatever! I'll do what I want. I don't give a fuck about you. Must you be so harsh, Tom? And to make matters worse, he didn't even bother to bring Gronkowski with him. Earlier that morning, Tom, we're team. I just leave facility. Nobody there. Who talks on FaceTime with the phone to their ear? Me, Gronk. I stupid. Where are you guys? Me at stadium. Me in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay? Did me make mistake? I thought we play at home. Did me choose wrong home? Yes. Me make mistake. Me, Gronk. Me still in Tampa Bay. I thought we were staying at home. And shit. I guess I don't have a tight end. Perhaps this was a scheme concocted by the Sith Lord, Bill Belichick. Maybe! That's fucked up. How the Patriot offense have an audible calling it Superman when they fired Superman last month? I mean, granted, throwing the football kind of looked like his kryptonite, but still. They took our job! They took our job! They took your deal! Nevertheless, opening possession, here comes the Lolly Lou Lalo. Third and seven, Big Mac Daddy Jones takes the snap, looking over the middle, but the pass sails. With the Patriots having to punt, it's time to welcome back Tom Brady. Here comes Tom Brady. Off the opposite sideline. Well, you know, he gave, he got a tremendous ovation, I would say 6-1 to one in favor. But now that the game has started, enough of the romance, they want the Patriots to win the game. Boo! You kiss your son, boo! I want to sleep with your wife, boo! I took a shit on your front porch, whoa! It was a massive dump the size of an UG. And I'll do it again. Security, can we escort this man out? Meanwhile, in SoFi Stadium, Justin Herbert from Family Guy looking over the middles got his man there inside Raider territory. And the Los Angeles Android Chargers aren't slowing down at all. Hand off to Austin Eckler. Gonna pick up another first down. They're now inside the 20. Third and five for the... Raiders! Brady looking for Gronk. Eh! But unfortunately, he's not on the field. That's Cameron Brake. All jokes aside, if murder was legal, what's the over-under? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think Bill Belichick would hire a hitman to kill Brady? I mean, it's a ludicrous thing to even think about. But look at this man. Doesn't he look menacing? Meanwhile, the Raider defense never got off the bus because the Chargers are now inside the 10. Here comes the Lolly Lule Low. Doesn't look like they have butterflies, but they've got beep, 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 beep. Butterfingers fumble on the play, recovered by Devin White. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have it at the 15. Barely five minutes into this game, and we've got a... The referees would rule this an incomplete pass because, as you can see, the brother barely had possession of the football, didn't have enough time to make a football move before Barrett knocked it out of his hands. And for all intents and purposes, this is one of those bang, bang kind of plays. It could have went either way, but this time it favored in the hands of the Lali Lulelo. Wait a minute. You could have saw this video early and ad-free. All you got to do is click the link in my description or go to patreon.com slash chiseledadonis and become a level 3, 4, 5, or 6 member. And you won't have to worry about ads, and you'll see this before everybody else. What are you waiting for? And now go Chargers, go. The Los Angeles Crips in the swoop zone. Justin Herbert from Family Guy looking towards the back of the end zones. Got his man, and Los Angeles is out in front. Third and 14 for Big Mac Jones. Looking over the middle, he's got Brandon Bowles. Golden, but unfortunately he's participating in the Frank Costanza challenge because he'd be nowhere near the first down and I stopped short. ensuing drive Brady's got history on his mind eh? over the middle he's got Mike Evans inside Patriot territory then he says I'll do the same shit again eh? the Patriots suddenly don't know how to guard Mike Evans and he has the Bucks inside the 15 and with that pass eh? Brady would go one yard in front of Drew Brees Antonio Brown would pick up three and now history has been made as Tom Brady becomes the NFL's all-time passing yards leader and Drew Brees is on the sideline standing there clapping salty because his career ended at the hands of the man who just broke his record does that look like a man who's happy I think not Fuck. Tom shut the fuck up they didn't even stop the game to congratulate this man that's all I needed it became personal with me. So you know I ain't worried. Bitch, stupid bitch. Tampa would settle for a 29-yard field goal. Ryan Suckup would kick it through the uprights, and they score first in the return of Brady. Meanwhile, for Oakland, Joey Bosa broke into Derek's vehicle. Ah, 
fumble on the play, but it's retained by the Raiders. I don't know what's going on with Alex Leatherwood, but this man has never gotten his Zenkai boost yet. How is it that you're still this bad? Ensuing drive, here come the Chargers. Hand off to Jalen Guyton, blockers out in front. He's going to carry it inside Raiders territory, and the Chargers offense cannot be stopped. So wait a minute, both Bill Belichick and Bruce Arians are both 69 years old? The first time in NFL history that both coaches were 69 years old? This would have been a hell of a moment for Gronk. He'd love to be around people who are 69. I cannot believe it. All right, and nobody's blocking. Mac Jones got a man. Yoink. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by the Buccaneers. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. But on fourth down, rather than punt it, the Chargers are going to try a little bit of trickery. Not today. Not today! Oh my lord in heaven, Hunter Renfro just murdered a man. You should have known better than to throw a trick play with a man named Hunter on the other side of the field. Why is she it? Not on my watch! Ate that man's lunch. This is not how you use your dreadlock powers. Somebody switch his position. White defensive backs are making a comeback. But look at the coach in the yellow. Mans went from jubilant to miserable within seconds. I wonder if the Raiders are going to use this as momentum. Oh, my God. I guess not. Why does Bill Belichick's son look like that? What's good with him? Ensuing drive. Here comes Tampa Bay. Eh? Brady looking deep towards his left. He's got Antonio Brown at the 20. Third and 22 for the Raiders. Derek Vehicle looking towards his left. He's got a Renfro who hunts, but unfortunately tackling motherfuckers when you on punt return don't result in first downs. A suck-up named Ryan would settle for a 36-yard field goal, but it's sailing wide to the right. It's no good. Ensuing drive for the Dodgers. Herbert looking towards his right. He's got Mike Williams. I know I missed. What the fuck? The Chargers would be forced to punt after being unable to move the football, and Hunter Renfro would field it at the 24-yard line. Makes one man miss. He's headed down the sideline. Get over now y'all be the judge, rightfully so. This is a horse collar tackle. However, the referees called this as a face mask, despite the fact that they looked at the replay. Stupid idiots. The Lolly Lule Low finally doing something positive on offense as Big Mac Daddy Jones got his man and the Patriots are at the 49. Fourth and three, the Raiders decide to participate in the Pittsburgh Steeler Challenge. Why not dump it off? Fucking retard. If you wanted to look like bums, why didn't you just say that? I may be wrong, but I doubt it. Ensuing drive for Los Angeles. I wonder what they're going to do with the football. Absolutely nothing. Keenan Allen ain't going nowhere. I stopped short. The Lolly Lule Low now inside Tampa territory. Brand Brandon Bolden gets the catch and moves the chains for the Patriots. The Raiders still yet to move the chains at any point in this game. Finally get themselves a first down as Darren Waller would advance them to the 41-yard line. Uh, excuse me, did he just spike the ball? Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. That's a 15-yard penalty. How dare you spike the ball, stupid? You fucking cock-sucking motherfuckers. That did the Raiders absolutely no favors. And then when Renfro tried to pick up the first down, he too was participating in the Frankenstein's challenge. I stopped short. And when one hunter fails, another hunter will succeed. As Mac Daddy Jones finds a Henry who hunts, fights his way into the end zone, and the Patriots are on top in the game against Brady. All right, we got the lead. End the game. We're sorry. We can't do that. You piece of shit. Now all of a sudden everybody wants to follow the rules. Do you need a shout out? Perhaps you need somebody to sing happy birthday for you. Maybe you need some help roasting a friend or you just need somebody to announce the draft order for your fantasy football league. Book me on Cameo. Go to Cameo.com slash Chisel the Donuts and book me today. Ensuing drive, Brady takes the snap, play action fake. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Meanwhile, the Chargers now in Raiders territory. Play action fake. Herbert looking left. He's got Anderson. Now inside the 15. Third and 18 for Brady. Eh? Where do you think you're going? Now get your bitch ass on the floor. And now go Chargers. Go. The Los Angeles Crips in the Sioux Whoop zone. Justin Herbert looking towards the end zone. He's got the NFL slut. Jared Cook on his sixth team has another touchdown somebody help me understand how the hell Shaq Barrett jumped into a sack just now this man walked his way to the quarterback and then leaped on him
third and one. Raiders offense, EXC, still hasn't loaded. They stopped short so many times, I would have thought we were playing baseball. I stopped short. Third down for the Lolly Lule Low as well. And they're going to try a little bit of trickery as Myers would launch it back across the field over to Bolden. Third and 17, they're only going to pick up 16. Oh, shit. Failure. What's hilarious is the cheerleaders are celebrating like they're not going to have to punt. Send me a number. What happened? Two minute warning for the Chargers. Hand off to Austin Eckler. He's going to pick up a first down and carry it inside Raiders territory. Third and six. The Gruden grinders can't seem to get off the field. The Chargers extend their drive. Brady looking to put up points just before halftime. Eh? Looking towards his left. He's got Godwin in Lali Lule low territory. This got to be one of the worst tackling efforts I've ever seen in my life. Come here. How about new? He ran right past him. First and ten for Brady following the completion. Eh? He's got Got his man there now in field goal range. And now go Chargers, go. Once again in the period colored zone, Justin Herbert from Family Guy looking right. He's got Austin Elka, goes into the end zone for another Los Angeles Android Chargers touchdown. They lead by 21. And you know that brother's as white as he is black, so. That's how the white man plays guitar. When we get in the locker room, I'm gonna beat the shit out of somebody because they wanna come out here undefeated and play like absolute scrubs. I thought we were Gruden grinders. A suck up named Ryan would settle for a 44 yard field goal and cut the Tampa Bay deficit down to one just before halftime. Into the second half we go, here comes Derek's vehicle. <laughs> Derek somehow evades the rush, got his man. <laughs> And there's laundry all over the field. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness on the defense. This motherfucker out here headhunting. You're lucky this ain't college. This would have been a targeting call. Man's out here thriving off of negativity. What was the point? You could have just touched him down. You lucky you wasn't thrown out the game, stupid. Meanwhile, third and 15 for Brady. He hands it off to Leonard Fournette, but playoff Lenny got nowhere to go. Auspicious field position for the Lolly Lule Low. Big Mac Jones looking over the middles. Got his man. The Patriots are now inside the third. What kind of drugs do they have in Star Foxborough? The Raiders marching down the field, and finally their offense seems to begin to click. It's a sold-out crowd in Gillette. Everybody got a t-shirt, and they also got a butterfinger. Fumble on the play. It's recovered by Richard Sherman. Tampa Bay takes over. Some people brought signs. Some people dressed up as goats. Better make sure there's no cannibals around here. Somebody might cook you, brother. Gonna munch on him like some fried cob. Wee! Rosetta Stone Haitian, motherfucker. I don't give a shit. Greetings, it's me again. Would you guys like to win a brand new PlayStation 5? Or perhaps you'd rather have an Xbox X. All you've got to do is click the links in my description, download the free Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, or click the link that'll take you directly to Hot Mic. Just follow me on the app and you'll be entered into the giveaway for a PlayStation 5 bundle and an Xbox X bundle. If you guys already follow me for the 10K follower giveaway last season, you'll already be entered. If you follow me for the NBA Finals giveaway, you'll already be entered. I don't care about burner accounts i don't care how many other accounts you happen to make all you've got to do is download the hot mic app use the invite code adonis follow me on the app and you will be in may the odds ever be in your favor third and one for brady eh? Fuck out of here. Fuck you, bitch. and now no charges no for the first time tonight, Derek Vehicle has his Raiders inside the period colored zone, rifles it into the navel of Hunter Renfro, and the Raiders are finally on the board. Watch out, Richard Sherman's coming on the blitz. I mean, he ain't do shit. I just wanted to say he was coming on the blitz. I got you now. Mac Jones got sacked anyway, and it appears that they're starting a trend because two plays later. <laughs> God damn, Mac Jones got clapped. Play action fake, eh? Brady dumps it off on the ensuing drive and playoff Lanny takes it inside Patriot territory. Well, I'll be damned. The Raiders came to play in the third quarter. Fuck out of here. Got the Chargers watching Seinfeld. I stopped short. Look at the patience by Leonard Fournette on this run. Like a Republican waiting for Trump to build that wall. Well, not anymore, you're not. Looks like the Chargers offensive line is as effective as a condom in DMX's house. Herbert got no protection on that play. At what moment during a football game, do you make a face like this? Are we sure he's not on drugs?
Rugs. What's wrong with him? Ensuing drive, Derek Vehicle takes the snap, looking to go deep. He's taking a look at some home decor because he's got Henry Ruggs to third, but unfortunately he underthrew him. But there's laundry on the field. Pass interference on the defense. Looks like the Raiders are moving on up into Chargers territory. Asante Samuel Jr. tried to guard this man with his pelvis. Think fast, hand off to Rojo. Ronald Jones gets the carry, runs behind some blockers, fights his way into the end zone, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers regain the lead. Second and ten, Derek Vehicle play action fake. It's time to turn up the little John because they're going from the windows to the waller. They're inside the ten. Outside of the lone tipped interception, Mac Jones is playing exceptional, and he has his team inside Tampa Bay territory. And now no charges. No. The Raiders turning the volume all the way to the right. Shot it from the rooftops. From the windows to the waller. Man takes somebody's soul and gives the Raiders only a one-score deficit. My God, Mark Davis is unattractive. If he hired an escort, she'd rather decline the money, leave, and be hungry for a night than have to wake up next to him. I've seen more attractive squirrels than Mark Davis. Whispered in his ear, hold my nuggets. Suck my dick. Here we go, Gruden Grinders in the black. Watch your head, Gruden Grinders go attack. Who are we, Gruden Grinders, that's a fact. Better look out, Gruden Grinders coming back. Patriots driving down the field, Mac Daddy Jones looking left, he's got Bolden, the Patriots are now inside the five. The Pats in the love colored zone, Rosetta Stone, Bengala motherfucker, as Mac Jones finds his man in the end zone, that's Jonu Smith and the Patriots are back in front. The Chargers now in Raiders territory after a third quarter where nothing went right. <laughs> It appears it continues into the fourth. There ain't no way this man is not on drugs. Why is his tongue out during the game? This is disturbing, not only because this man is licking my at name, <clears throat> breaking the fourth wall, but why is he eating imaginary pussy? The fuck they doing over there? First and 10 for the Raiders. Play action fake, all the momentum in the world. Derek Vehicle's gonna let it fly. This time, Henry Ruggs has it inside Chargers territory. Tampa trailing once again, third and six. Brady says, I gotta use my legs. And the 87-year-old is on the move and he's gonna fight for the first down it may have taken 36 minutes to pick up six yards but my god the old man's got wheels you can hear the sounds of his bones rubbing together as he ran for those seven yards tell the trainer on the side to get the icy hot ready brady's gonna need a rub down never mind giselle's on the way down and just like that there goes the raiders momentum <laughs> Now inside Patriot territory. Eh? Brady dumps it off. Playoff Lenny carries it inside the 30 all the way to the 25. Daniel Carlson from 52 yards kicks it way to the left. Has every kicker I've forgiven started playing like shit? What's wrong with them? Can't get any worse than this, though. Third and nine for Brady. Eh? Over the middle, he's got Cameron Brait there at the six. Fourth and two. Raiders desperately need a stop. Herbert looking left. He's got Jared Cook to move the chains inside Raider territory. A suck-up named Ryan would kick a 27-yard field goal through the uprights, and Tampa Bay regains the lead. Into Larry Roundtree. This man refuses to go down. What should have only been a five-yard gain turns into a nine-yard game. Man's out here looking like a beaver carrying sticks. Second and seven for Big Mac Jones. He puts the lolly lule low in Tampa territory. And on the very next play, time for a little bit of trickery. Josh McDaniels pulling out all the stops. They're going to launch it to Nelson Aguilar. His hands are no longer occasional and he has them inside the 10. And now go Chargers. Go. The Los Angeles Crips in the Suwoop zone. Hand off to Austin Eckler having the game of his life. Goes into the end zone. Touchdown Chargers. Double or nothing. They lead by 14. And you already know he's hitting that guitar. Because you got to let the world know that. That's how the white man plays guitar. The Patriots would settle for a 27-yard field goal. It's through the uprights, and it's good. Wait, who's kicking it? Trailing once again, under five minutes left to play. Eh? Brady's going to let it fly. He's got playoff Lenny, but the pass is broken up, and there's laundry on the field. Chips ahoy. Kyle Van Noy is guilty of pass interference. If you looked back at the football, you possibly could have had an interception, but you were too busy participating in the civil rights movement, because... Ain't going to let nobody turn me around, turn me around. Turn me around, ain't gonna let Pardon my interruption, if you ever wanted to get your hands on some merch like this Wow, 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 wow Wow! Give me what I want! Give me what I want! Click the links in my description and go to chiseldadonnashop.com and get your merch today Just 
do it! Fourth and one here for the Raiders. Derek Vehicles got a Renfro who hunts and they keep their chances alive. Following an offensive pass interference by Mike Evans, eh, Brady would connect with him on an 11 yard gain and set up a third and six. Meanwhile for the Raiders, Derek Vehicle would showcase that he don't drive automatic. He's got a Wahoo. in his car as the pass is intercepted by Derwin James. Oh shit. The Raiders back were up against the wall before. Now they're damn near inside the sheetrock. Austin Elker would carry it inside Raider territory. Third and six. The Patriots desperately need a stop. Eh? They ain't gonna get it because the clown Antonio Brown keeps the drive alive. Void of all of their timeouts with only the two-minute warning left to stop the clock. The Raiders defense finally do something with an opportunity for yet another legendary comeback. Eh? Brady looks to go for it all. He's got Antonio Brown in the end zone for the... I dropped it. Say it ain't so. This man's hands were just for decoration. It's raining. It don't matter. What happened to his hands? Enough from the clown. Tampa would have to rely on Orion who sucks up. He'd kick it through the uprights from 48 yards out. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have the lead with 157 left to play. And here comes Big Mac Jones' opportunity to spoil Brady's return to Star Foxborough as he looks to lead his Lolly Lule load of victory. Here we go. Looking over the middle. The pass sails. Incomplete, but there's laundry on the field. Pass interference on the defense, stupid motherfucker, you. Whitehead levels Hunter Henry, who probably had no chance of catching that football. Damn, look at the form of that flag throw by the referee. The Patriots now at the 45. Mac Jones dumps it off. He's got his man. They're in Tampa Bay territory. Very next play, one timeout remaining. Mac Jones looking towards his right. has got Brandon Bolden. He carries it for a first down, and he got out of bounds. The time would remain at 1-11. Oh, by the way, about Monday Night Football, it's 4th and 7 in Los Angeles, and Derek Vehicle's trying to throw the football to somebody, but it's going absolutely nowhere. Get him off the field! Undefeated no more! You lose! First place in the AFC West belongs to the Los Angeles Chargers! Go Chargers! Go! Go Chargers! Go! Go Chargers! Go! I will not go quietly into the night. Chucky and I will not have our last dance. This isn't the last you heard of the fucking Gruden Grinders. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you'll always be up to date in all my content. On top of that, follow me all over the social media platforms, all right? Whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Pornhub, does not matter. Because at the end of the day, let's all go to the Shadow Realm together. Second and 10, Big Mac Jones takes the snap. Looking right, he's got Myers at the 37-yard line. Third and three, they need a first down here. Mac Jones takes the snap. Pass is broken up by Levante David at the line. It's fourth and three. Belichick, you've got to go for this. Mac Jones got momentum. Let him take his team down the field, convert on fourth down, and put them in a position to win. That's what you've did your entire career. This is a game against Brady. You can't send... You... You... You sent down who? It's Nick Folk! 56 yard field goal for the win! <laughs> he did it again! Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 way, boy. You mean to tell me? With the game on the line, your quarterback on fire, fourth and three, inside the 40-yard line. You decide to kick a 56-yard field goal in the rain with Nick Folk as your kicker against Brady on prime time? Are you crazy? This is a man nearly four years ago to this very day missed three field goals against you on prime time while you played against the very team you're playing against tonight you mean to tell me you watch this man's abysmal performance missing three field goals in prime time and you thought to yourself on the sideline i want that man to be my kicker he was fired on the field old man have you gone mad do you think anybody cares that he's made a franchise record 36 consecutive field goals it doesn't matter this is still nick folk 
when the lights come on. This man is incapable of performing. He fused with Cody Parkey and they became the master of the miss, the lord of the doink. I haven't seen legs this disappointing on U.S. soil since Sakari Richardson came in seventh place a few months ago. When Brady saw folk go out there, he knew he had a victory in the bag. Bruce Arians didn't even need to see the doink. He already had his hands in the air. Mac Jones knew in his soul he could have converted, and now he's leaving with an L. But before I blame folk, I'm going to blame you, because you knew you made a bad decision. That's why you scratching your damn head. And now the human Frankenstein got to sit here and think, what if we went for it on fourth down, but you left it up to Nick I gave you praise last year. Claimed that you should have represented the AFC in the Pro Bowl after your clutch performance after clutch performance. And yet, you come out on the field after being the most reliable kicker for the Patriots in years. And you let us all down. You are who we thought you were. Nothing but a fake. Nothing but a fraud. Nothing but a bum. I would rather eat worms straight out of the boogeyman's mouth then have you as my kicker. I'd rather be the last dreadlock in Little Wayne's hair than have you as my kicker. Them shit's dirty as fuck. But I'm not getting sidetracked. I would rather put a big ass straw in the hugest piece of sewage inside of the Bronx and drink than trust you to make a clutch kick on prime time as my kicker. Nick Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu